Hey folks, Andre Roth here, reporting from downtown Jacksonville. Across America, citizens' First Amendment rights to videotape and take photography from public places is under assault. Back in January, Carlos Miller, founder of Photography is Not a Crime, multimedia journalist and champion of the First Amendment, was attacked on the Miami-Dade Metro Rail System by 50 state security guards. He was shoved down an escalator, dogpiled at the bottom of the escalator, and nearly choked to death by 356 security guards who were simply taking pictures of his friend on the Metro Rail train station platform while waiting on a train. Uh, he was taking pictures of his friend with a, with a Miami skyline in the courthouse in the background. That was his crime. Why? You cannot take pictures of the track. Why? What's so important about the track? You cannot take pictures of the track. Why? Because it's against the law. What law? Turn off the camera or are you going to have to leave? Call. Please stop. I can't breathe. He's not resisting. Can you just... I can't breathe. No, I... You want to tell me. I'm not resisting. No, I'm not doing anything. That attack on Carlos Miller inspired me to test out my local public transportation system, Jacksonville. Jacksonville Transportation Authority, see what their policies are regarding citizens' right to take photography and video on the public transportation system. I spoke to a JTA official, and she basically told me that even though it's a public space, I had to get permission ahead of time, and if I didn't get permission ahead of time, I would be told to leave the Jacksonville Transportation Authority Skyway or bus system. It is. It's a public space, so I, I have the right to do it. Is, is that correct? It is a public space. Just know what day, what time, and what location, so that I can let our control center know. Otherwise, they will um, question you on it. Continuing my test of the Jacksonville Transportation Authority's policy on suppressing First Amendment rights to video and take photography on a public transit station system, I came downtown to, of all places. Rosa Parks Transit Station, and I began to document. And within minutes, I was approached by a JTA supervisor who told me I could not film on a public transportation system because it was private property. When I politely tried to correct him and tell him that it wasn't private property, that it was indeed public property, he shut down the conversation, began calling two off-duty JSO officers, Jacksonville Sheriff's officers over, and informed me that anyone who would question his authority got spanked. Yes. Uh, I'm just a citizen, just videotaping. No, so you can't do that. Really, why not? Because it's, it's private property. So this is public property. Okay. Hey, Liam. Come here, sir. Sir, you, when you press me, I get the police officer to spank okay. you, okay? Understood. Okay. Yeah, I need to see both of you. I told this gentleman that he's videoing. I told him he can't do that because we're on private property. He said this is, this is public property. So can you explain to him what he's doing wrong? When the two Jacksonville Sheriff's officers came over, they began to immediately uh, tell me about the nonsense that we've heard many, many times about non-existent homeland security rules and regulations uh, that prohibit your First Amendment rights. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't um, video down here due to the homeland security rules and everything. To the credit of Officer Johnson, he was reasonable and listened, and we eventually determined through phone calls that I was indeed correct, that it is perfectly legal to video and take photography on a public transportation system. I published a video of the incident on my YouTube channel. Carlos Miller even did a story on it, and uh, Alex Jones did a story on it. And I was hoping, hoping that the publishing of the video would be uh, good enough to change JTA's policy, but I guess I was naive. Recently I heard of an incident of a woman with her children down here uh, on JTA taking pictures of her kids on the platform, and she was told that she could not take pictures of her children on the platform. So I returned down to Jacksonville to do another First Amendment test up here at uh, Central Station. Within seconds of getting off the train at Central Station, I was immediately confronted by two off-duty Jacksonville Sheriff's officers who told me that video and photography was not allowed on the JTA Skyway without permission and that they were under strict orders from JTA to prohibit all video and photography without prior permission. 
The two JSO officers even demanded documentation to prove that I had gotten permission ahead of time. Uh, they eventually trespassed me off of the JTA Sky Skyway system under threat of arrest, despite doing absolutely nothing illegal. Thus, I was denied my right to public transportation, and I was denied my First Amendment right, protected right, to film and take photos in a public space. So this is uh, Central Station, pretty busy station. This is where uh, trains meet up. Sorry? This is a public place though, right? Is it just a public space? Yeah, but it's not public, it's a public place. You say you can't take pictures, you gotta get permission. I've already checked with JTA, they say it's fine. Oh, okay. Well, if you check with them. It's a public space, I mean, I don't need to check with them. It's a public space, it's my first uh, question. The question is, did you check with them or not? Hold on, let me call you right back. Uh, it's a public space that you don't need to check with them. We got strict orders. We work for JTA. They tell us don't let people take pictures of right, it. Right, right. Now you're going to you have to show me some documentation where they say you can take it. If not, you're going to put the thing up and you, or you're going to leave. No, no other questions. That's bottom Okay, line. What, what would happen if I didn't? I'm, I'm just asking. Then I'm, then I'm a trespass. Okay, I'm leaving then. But uh, can I get your name and badge number? Right here. My name right on my, right on my arm badge. Right okay, here. I'm going to get it. I don't. Don't be alone. No, don't, don't, don't fail me, man. Don't, no. don't, don't, turn the camera off. Turn the camera okay, off. Okay, G, Alouche, and this other I'm officer. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Because it's trespass after warning. You've been trespassing. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. leaving. No, you guys are violating the First Amendment. I hope you know that. Not. Yes, sir, you are. Go ahead. This is a public space. You guys are violating the First Amendment. Right. I'm going to file a complaint against you. Well, you, you refuse to give your name and badge number. You refuse to give his name and badge number. It's a public space. You said my name. You know what my name is. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to tell me what your name is. Yes, sir, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, sir, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right. I called the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office to issue a complaint about what had happened. And to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office credit, they did listen, and they did send a, a senior officer down, a supervisor down, to investigate my claims. The officer that they sent down is named Lieutenant Grant. He is a fine example of a what a peace officer sh should be. As near as I can determine. Okay. There's no reason you can't videotape there. Understood. Okay. The officers are under the impression that this is a private with public access facility. Okay. It's owned by the government. State. It's the state. It's owned by several things, several entities, right. I think. Uh, Jacksonville State and somebody else. But anyway, as far as I can determine, there's no reason why you shouldn't be videotaping there at this time. We'll get a second opinion from um, the city attorneys and things like that later okay. on. But for right now, I can make no deterrent. There's nothing that I know of that keeps you from videotaping that. Secondly, Understood. the officers are supposed to give you their name and ID number if you ask for it. Okay. It's just that simple. No ifs, ands, and buts about that. Don't care. They're supposed to give you that. Uh, is that is that actual? I've always been kind of. There's I knew, no state law that says they it's have just to. It's policy. A city policy. policy. I mean, okay. it's a sheriff's office policy sheriff's that policy. they have to give you their name and badge number if asked for. Right. If they're not arresting me or something like that, you know, it's just if it I'm just. Matter if they're arresting you or not, they still have to give it to you <laughs> okay. whether you're arrested, not arrested. If you're uh, just walking down the street, officer, I want your name and ID number, please. They're supposed to give you their name and ID number. Right. They're just that's our business card or something like that. Okay. If they give you a business card, that's the same thing, correct? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, his name tag does not have his badge number on it, so he did not comply with that part of, according to your video. Understood. And I'd have to see it where I can really see it, you know, and hear it a little better. Okay. I, can bear, I can hear it half of it, but it does seem like that they refused to do that, and, and that would be a violation of our sheriff's office policy, and they Understood. shouldn't have done that. But we're going to get this straightened out and okay. make sure that we're comply with everything we're supposed to be complying with. Okay. Okay? A couple of days after the incident happened, I called Lieutenant Grant for an update on the situation. And he assured me that uh, JSO officers were informed that they were not to prohibit people from taking photography or video on the JTA Skyway, regardless of what JTA tells them, and also that they were re-informed about their duty to give name and badge number upon request of a citizen. Yes, sir. This, there's a, like, this Kings Avenue, this, this station right here, this uh -huh. train, 
it carries you to Kings Avenue, uh, San Marco. Okay. Then you get some good scenery when you go across the bridge. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I done got off the mall. I done got off. Where you trying to go? Uh, uh, over there by the Halo Halo. Yeah, 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 yeah. You I should have stayed on that. Yeah, you should have stayed on that. Damn. But it, you're all right. You're all right. It, you know, the next one will come. It'll probably be, uh, there's one that's going to come after this one, the Jefferson Street right. and Convention Center. But wait until wait until that one leave. The next one come. Alright. Yeah. I'm sorry. What were you saying? No, yeah. I'm just telling you. If, uh, the next the next train that he's getting on, okay. carry across that river, trying to get okay. good scenery. That's Appreciate your help, sir. You mind if I get your name and badge number? Is that they are? No, I don't mind. Uh, Williams. Williams. Okay. R.G. Williams. Yeah. R.G. Williams. Seven seven three three. Okay. Thank you, sir. So as you can see, it appears to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office credit that they have made the changes that they promised they would make. Uh, Lieutenant Grant is a good man. He did follow through with what he said he was going to do. The changes have been made as far as the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office goes, uh, prohibiting citizens' rights to videotape and take photography on JTA. But as far as I know, JTA policy is still, you have to get permission ahead of time. And uh, so we're going to have to work on that. I mean, I can understand if I have a film crew down here and I'm taking up all kind of space and interfering, but that's not what we're doing. It's just a citizen exercising his right to uh, document public spaces. So we'll have to work on JTA and see uh, if we can get them to change their policy. So as you can see, uh, one person can make a difference. I encourage everybody out there to try to make a difference, especially with the new media today on YouTube and the exposure you can get through independent media. And anybody who says that this is a trivial pursuit, I've had comments saying, ah, oh, this ain't a big deal, you're making a big deal about it. I'd like to point out what happened to Oscar Grant uh, when he was shot by the armed police officer on the train platform. Truth may have never gotten out. So uh, we'll fight for your rights out there, people.